Hey YouTube, this is Tati, aka T-A-T-T-I Station. Today's subject is about Haitian parents. <clears throat> As you know, Haitian parents are annoying, but they like to tell you, oh, why you don't want to learn how to drive? Why you don't want to do this? Why you don't want to do that? Mom, come on, really? You know, you know what's you know what I'm doing, right? Okay. The thing about Haitian parents right now, they're annoying. Capital A, annoying. But like they, like you could say to them, oh, mom, this is this is what I want to do. <clears throat> this is what I want to do. This is what I don't want to do. I don't want to learn how to drive. I don't want to learn how to go to school. And if you ask them, if you say to them, "Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I, I have a headache. Oh, um, I'm, I'm just going out with my friend. Oh no, you can't go with your friend. Oh no, you can't go with your friend because I'm the charge. But yeah, okay. But mom, I just realized it. You have to respect Haitian parents. They're the boss of you. It doesn't matter where you are. <clears throat> They're the boss of you. They respect you. And they will understand what's your conversation. <clears throat> but like I say, do not tell them. <clears throat> sorry. Do not tell them that you're in a relationship. Because they're like, oh, déjà una relationship avec qui est, qui est ça, mon pas connecte ça. They will embarrass you if you tell them about your boyfriend. If you say, oh, I have a boyfriend. Oh, I love him. He is so hot. He is cute. You have to tell him, oh, when he coming to your house. When he's coming to the house. You you feeling me? When when that boy comes to your house, when you gonna see him? My power dip you all in a ditch so my power avec menajou uh uh see kizaksa Haitian parents they're strict. The reason why they're strict is because their mother and their father raise them up like that. Okay. For example, you say to your mom, Oh mom, I'm dating I'm coming back at twelve thirty. I mean at ten thirty. You know how Haitian parents are. Oh Vini never this why Vini never this why that's it. Never this why? What? Nine thirty? Mom, that's not even a time for me and boyfriend girlfriend, you know. I already told you, come at nine thirty to ten thirty. Okay, you you come at around eleven forty-five. Uh, where were you? Koto, you didn't you didn't come at the same time I told you. Mom, my boyfriend just had a flat tire. My car, uh, my boyfriend's car is broke down. And you don't have anything right, uh, you don't have no ride home. You know how they're going to, you know what they're going to say? Go back in the car. Get out of the house. Go back in the car. Do not put your feet back in the house again. That's what Haitian parents will tell you. They're strict like a rock. You could tell them anything. Oh, I'm a, I'm in a relationship. Kilesa. No relationship. Uh uh. Pa moi même. Moi même pas bébé ou. Moi même pas um bébé petit là. I'm not the father. I'm not the grandmother. I'm not the grandma. You know. That is so mean, Haitian parents. Really, Haitian parents. Really. But anyway, or you could tell them you're going with your friend. I'm going to a friend's house. 
qui est ce amis Tell me Jésus, ces amis, ok? Ou parle na na ma dit petit, hein? Ma dit petit ça. You know what? You're not supposed to go anywhere with your friends. I'm like really, but American parents, they're not strict. They're like sensitive. They're not they're sensitive. They're like, okay, you can do whatever you want. You can like go to a party. Come back anytime you want. Come back at one o'clock. But Haitian parents, they will strike you down until you get scared of them. I remember I was at a party, my 14-year-old party. Um, I don't do parties. I was like a fr at my friend house. I came around, I came around seven at night, eight night at night. 10 at night, 11 o'clock, home. I, she called me on my cell phone, like, Tati, Kila, Wabini, Nakaila, Kila, Wabini, Kila, I'm like, Mom, I don't know what time I'm coming home. I need a ride. Oh, my mom, what a rich line if you want to stay. I'm like, Whoa, buddy, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, what? You can take the bus if I can. I'm like, but mom, when if I was at my cousin house, okay, you will let me stay over at my cousin house. You're not sleeping at no white person's house. I'm like, oh god. Then as a Haitian parent, you always when you get an F in your grade, you always get a butt a butt whooping. My bow bottom. Bottom for what? My mom, I got an F in my grade. Or sometimes you don't show. Where's the report card? Cut, cut the report card. Do. Report card? I lost it. Where's your homework? Um, the dog ate it. That's what, how you're supposed to say to the Haitian parents. Oh, cut, cut report card, ooh. Oh, my, my pocket report card, no. Uh, where's your report card? Oh, I don't know where it is. The dog ate it. The cat ate it. Da, 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 and so on, so on, and so on. Okay. The dog ate your report card. The cat ate your report card. That's it. Excuse me, I'm about to bark. Throw up. Anyway, like I say, the cat eat your homework, and then the principal. Funny thing, the next day, the principal call your mom or your dad. They say, "Oh, your son and daughter, your son and daughter is not listening to school, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on." And then the patient parents like having a meeting the next day. My patron de anglais now. My patron de anglais. I don't know what she's saying in English. That's the thing about Haitian parents. Haitian parents, they will criticize you, criticize you, criticize you, and criticize you over and over again. Oh, next up, I mean like I'm Kunya. You know, next up, I would day or. Hey, do not, well, just trick. Just say, Mom, I don't have a boyfriend right now. I don't, I don't, I'm not in a relationship. Just say that. But, funny thing happens. I love that yet. But, Mom, it's not my turn to wash the dishes. It's somebody else's turn. I told you, go wash the damn dishes. Don't argue back with a Haitian. That, that's not really necessary. Arguing back with the Haitian parents. That's not really necessary. The parents, their mother, and the, your great-great-grandmother raised them like that. So, I know, as a Haitian parent, and a Haitian young teenagers, for all my Haitians out there, they will be strict, 
and they will never stop being strict. They will tell you, I'm the boss, I'm the boss one, I'm boss two, I'm boss three, I'm boss four, I'm boss five, I'm boss six, I'm boss seven, and I'm boss eight. What that supposed to mean, Mom? Your parents, your Haitian parents will tell you, this is where you want to stay, this is where you're going, this is where you're going to come from, this is when you're going home. That's all. Okay, Mom. Really? Okay. Calm down. But, Mom... You told me you're just going to make me go out by myself. You have discipline. You're grounded for two weeks. That's what Haitian parents will tell you. You're grounded for two weeks or you're in a discipline. As Haitian members and Haitian teenagers, you're, you're just like me. Cross our hands just like me. Um, to be, to ignore a Haitian parent is, hmm, to aggravate them a little bit. Just say, Mom, I, you're doing stuff, I'm doing stuff my way. Just aggravate them a little bit and just get sneaky. Just say, Mom, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Enough about Haitian parents. Um, um, anyway, like I say, at West Still High School, please, 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 if you guys have homework and you guys don't want to do it, just take a little nap and then wake up and then do your homework without your Haitian parents saying that. And the Haitian parent will always say, Oh, got a tifisa. Tifisa mal pop. Upa, umal pop de. Upa, upa fe tout bagay. Upa fe laundry. Upa la la vassiet. Upa fe tout bagay. Ronessa, ma mette na aiti bou fe pop. Wow. That's all Haitian, Haitian parents will tell you. You are. You are the dumbest child. You are the retarded child you are ever was no. But they will ye yell at you until your head turns off circles, and then you're in a la la land. Like say, hmm. I'm like, whoa, what the hell, Tazi? Do you understand what I'm saying, huh? What? I don't know what you're talking about. That's all. Just say Haitian parents. Just say. But, like, talk to them in front of them. Like, have a conversation with them. No way. They won't get it. They'll just say, oh, you do my way. I do my way. I do my way. And I do my way. That's all. I'm the mother. I'm the father. I'm the brother, and I'm the sister, and I'm the cousins, I'm the blah, 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 whatever. I'm the oldest. So you tell them your way. Just say, Mom, I have a question to tell you. I need to tell you. I need to tell you this. Oh, my pocket door, my pocket side, my pocket fat, my pocket, my pocket, oh, yeah, I'm going to get my bum cushion, go ahead, cushion. But, Mom, I'm telling you something. You don't want to listen. I'm not into this conversation right now. Let me go to sleep. Good. That's all. Let me go to sleep. That's all. Go to sleep, Mom. That's really dumb. Nah. Pass this button for my dummy, okay? Let me go to sleep. I'm like, Mom, really? You have to yell at us like that? What did I say? Let me go to sleep, right? Alright, whatever, Mommy, whatever. Whatever, Mommy, just whatever. 
whatever, whatever my, you know, don't just say or those words to get Haitian parents mad. Okay? Just say, oh, you know what? I hate them. You hate me? You hate me? I'll show you hate. Just, just, just say, Mom, I love you, but you don't understand what I'm saying. I love you, and I will never stop loving you. I will just love you as everything going by and by. Just, I'm just telling you what I'm telling you. That's all. No, end of the end of discussion. I'm just telling you what I'm telling you. And parents, Haitian parents, listen to your child. Listen to your child. Listen to your daughters. Listen to your granddaughters. Everybody. A Haitian parents right now, they have stuff. They're always careless. They're careless about themselves. They like, they like to listen to themselves. Not their daughters. Not even the daughter. They're telling your daughters, wash the dishes, wash the dishes over and over and over and over and over again. Clean your room. Do your work. Do the homework. Do the classwork. Do this. That's what I can't stand about Haitian parents right now. They argue. If you argue with them, they put you right in the room. They lock you up. That I did that once. I argued with my mom and dad. I got beaten for that, and they put me in timeout for two minutes. Timeout, and then after that, get butt whipped. So, like I say, this video is all about Haitian parents. How to respect the rules. How to discard the rule. Always respect them. Always love them. Always recognize them. Just say, hey, mom, what's up? I love you. La, 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 la. That's all. So, guys, peace out. Peace.